video I used the Alice Through the Looking Glass palette. So if you guys want to know how I got this eye look, go ahead and keep watching. So all I have on is my eyebrows and I'm going to start on my eye look first. So I just bought this eyeshadow, eyeshadow primer from Wet n Wild. I heard a lot of good things about this primer on the YouTube and so I thought I'd check it out. So just taking some on the back of my hand and then just with a fluffy brush I'm just going to grab some and apply it to my eyelid. So today I am going to go in with the Alice Through the Looking Glass palette. So the first thing I'm going to do is take my fluffy blending brush. This is from Sedona Lace. And I'm just going to set the primer with the color Reflection, which is this color right here. I think I want to add tape for this look just because I'm not going to be going in with eyeliner. And I just apply tape to the back of my hand just to take off all the stickiness. And apply this going following the line, this your bottom lash line. Just apply it going up. And do the same to the other side. So now I'm going to go in with this tapered blending brush and this is from Morphe and this is the B79. I'm going to take the color chessboard which is this color right here and I'm just going to apply that all over the crease area. And with this other tapered blending brush, this is from Sedona Lace. This is my favorite. I'm gonna go in with the color Bandersnatch. That sounds so weird. Which is this color here. And I'm gonna apply this to the outer crease area. Like this. And then just swirl that color around. So I'm gonna go in with the color Salazin Grum. Salazin Grum. This color here. Whatever it says. I'm taking it on that flat brush. Take a decent amount on the back of your brush. And I'm gonna apply it all over the lid. So 
and I have seen that looks like this and I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of that Fander Snatch, the dark blue color and apply just a little bit more color to the outer corner. I'm going in with the brown color, the chessboard color. I'm gonna just take that color and lightly just blend that all in. Then taking a flat brush, and this is just a concealer brush. I'm gonna go in with the color Looking Glass. Then I'm just going to take that and highlight under the brow bone. If you want to do away with that harsh line, just take any blending brush, any dense blending brush. This is from Real Techniques. And start just going back and forth to just diffuse that line. You see how it kind of looks better on this side versus this side. I'm going to add a little bit of black and taking that same liner and I'm going to just line the water line, the bottom water line. So then doing the same to the other eye. So I am going to go in with the 113's Wispy Lashes. So I'm just going to apply glue to my lashes and then I, what I do is I just set them down and then wait for them to get tacky. So while we wait for that to get tacky, I'm just gonna go in and apply some eyeshadow to the bottom of our waterline. And I'm gonna go in with the color, with that blue color, the Bandersnatch color, this one here. I'm just taking that on a pencil brush and I'm just going to apply that to the lower brush line. And you're gonna wanna smoke it out. So just taking the lashes with some tweezers, you're going to want to go ahead and then just apply your lashes. So just as close to your lash line as possible that you can get them and then just wait for them to dry off. Now I'm gonna apply the telescopic carbon black mascara to the bottom lashes. Then just applying a little bit of mascara to the top lashes, just so they can pop a little more. Now I'm just going to take the, I use this for my eyebrows, but I also use it to line with powder. So I'm going to take the color Chessboard and Bandersnatch, the blue and the brown that I use on my eyes. And just so the lashes don't look so harsh, I'm going to just apply some powder to the lash line. So just like that, and then I did have some fallout, so just taking any fluffy brush and sweep away all of your fallout. So now we can just go ahead and go in and apply our concealer, foundation, 
bronzer or contour, blush and highlight, and set our makeup and then we'll be ready to go. So today I'm gonna use the Tarte of the Sea foundation. And I am in the color Medium Honey. So it does come in a dropper. So what I do is I just take some onto the back of my hand, like that. This foundation is like watery. And just dot it onto my skin. Then taking the Tarte Buffing Brush, I'm gonna go ahead and just blend that in. Huge. I feel like I apply my foundation in like under a minute because it's so hard to go in between my brows because the brush is huge. Now I'm going to go in with the, my concealer and I'm going to be using the Naked Skin Concealer. And I think that I already like I'm running out this little tube. I did run out and grab the original size, but I figured I'd finish the small one first. Clean that up. Yeah, it's like it's like blotchy because it's already there isn't much in there. Running it down the bridge of your nose and anywhere you highlight. Yeah. So just going in with the Beauty Blender, I am just going to blend that concealer in. So then just going in with the Laura Mercier setting powder, I am going to set my concealer so that it doesn't crease. So just on the pointy side, and I very lightly set it. And then just taking the back of the beauty blender, I just set the rest of my foundation where I am oily or where it may crease. So now I'm going to go ahead and go in with the Urban Decay Concealer. This is in the color M16 and I'm just going to go and do a little bit of contouring. Contour. So just here. Here. So just going in with a blending brush, I am just going to blend that out. And you always want to blend upwards. Then I'm going to go in with my MAC Give Me Sun bronzer and I'm just going to take it on my Sedona Lace fan brush and I'm just going to apply that over the cream contour and your forehead. Then just with the Tarte brush that you used for your foundation, I just go in and blend. So now just taking the Beauty Blender into the Laura Mercier powder, I'm going to clean up the contour. So then just with any blending brush, we're going to go ahead and 
sweep that off our base. Now I'm gonna go in with some blush and highlight. And I'm gonna use the Orgasm from NARS. And then just with this little brush here. And just apply it to the apple of my cheeks. And for highlighter today, I'm going to go in with the Anastasia Crushed Pearl which is this one here, on the Anastasia uh, A23 brush. So just swirling that in there. I'm gonna just add that to high points of my cheekbones. And just blend it so it's not so crazy. And on my Cupid's bow. You go in with your blending brush and just blend over it just so it looks smooth on the skin. So now all we have left is lift and then we're going to set our makeup so it doesn't go anywhere and stays in place. I'm going to go in with the color Doshe from Anastasia. So just taking this color. Oh my god, it's so pretty. So this color is a little bit patchy. It is such a pretty color, so it kind of sucks. Just try to blend it with my fingers. So this is what the final makeup look looks like. Just go ahead and set your makeup so it doesn't go anywhere throughout the day. Thank you so much for watching. Everything that I used in this video will be down in the description box below, as well as all of my social media accounts. I will be posting a foundation routine soon. And yeah, I think that's all that I have to say. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys later. Bye.